Welcome to Engineering is in our DNA, a podcast series where we talk about the next in engineering that is powering the future for businesses across the world. Rapid digitization has accelerated all businesses. Enterprises now need to redesign their architecture for something automated that speeds up development and gives 360 degree visibility. Sumit Rava, the Zap Platform Tribe Leader at Emphasis, and Suresh Nair, who leads our consumer banking business, discuss why platformization is a must for businesses today. My name is Sumit Ravel and I'm based out of London. I lead the platform business for Emphasis, where we help our customers innovate and align with changing business needs with speed and agility. We call it Zap, everything as a platform. We would like to introduce this topic today with us. And to co-host this, I have my principal who leads our consumer business, uh, Suresh Nair, joining us for this talk today. Welcome, Suresh. Thank you. So, Suresh, in today's world, how do you think platform enterprises are relevant for businesses? So, there's a Gartner report that came out about four months ago, and it talked about how composable businesses uh, are doing 20% overall better than the traditional businesses, right? And it's not really about doing APIs or, you know, it's not about the technology side of it. It's about assembling new business capabilities, uh, assembling new value streams from the things that they already do, but bringing in external stuff as well, right? So the most famous example is if you look at Uber, right? Uh, they had a the Uber driver business, right? So they, they could, they knew drivers, they knew travel times in different areas. They figured out uh, how to add knowledge about restaurants and they created Uber Eats, right? So it's taking the stuff you already have, packaging them as capabilities and assembling them in new ways, right? And people usually think of this as, hey, if I have APIs, it solves the problem. It's not enough. So when we look at platform enterprises, there's a, there's this couple of other things they have, like their knowledge of circumstance. They understand who the customers are. They can discover capabilities within the organization. If I want to offer something new, I need to know what my company can do, right? Then automating contract negotiation and enforcement, right? If you're bringing in new partners, you're, you're connecting consumers and providers, it, it's handling that. And then handling the distribution and aggregation of work products, right? Doing that automatically. It, these are all technology enabled. But once you do this, your businesses, you can create completely new offerings that you never thought of before. And that's becoming critical in today's like hyper-personalized Web3 kind of world, right? So that's sort of why I think platformization is relevant. And companies that don't do this, I think are going to uh, fall behind very, very quickly in the next couple of years. It's like missing the internet wave. It's almost as, as risky as that. What do you think? I completely agree. I think this is this is something which is now very, very essential for every enterprise, every large scale enterprise also to, especially given the scenario, they are getting disrupted very quickly, right? With uh, not only the incumbents, but also somebody who, who comes up with an idea is able to pivot the idea with the advent of technology out there very quickly and make the, make the value creation much easier for them. And it's, it's essentially very much required for businesses today. So, but I think there, at the same time, what we have seen is there's a lot of challenges around us, right? So how do you get started is one of the biggest pain areas, what, what we are looking in the market out there, right? A lot of customers are thinking about this, but they're not very clear about how do they start shaping this up? How do they start this journey, right? So one of the first things in my view, what we do is thinking about how do you create value for your customers, your partners, for your colleagues, for your employees, right? So the rethink, reimagine the whole value creation of your enterprise. And then necessarily, how do you move at speed, right? So that's because perfection is, like we say, is, is an evil for speed, right? You cannot know everything before you can actually solve it. Right. So yeah. I think that's important, right? Like speed trumps perfection, and there are enterprises which are now a little bit afraid to make these mistakes. So I think it's important to be open about it, to learn, so uh, fail to fast. experiment, yeah. and uh, fail fast, right? So that's 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 pretty much very much important, right, for any any business who wants to embark on this platform journey out there. And at the same time, have a very long term vision and a strategy but execute it in short sprint right like think horizontally but execute vertically so i think those are some of the things which which every enterprise should be looking at and 
everybody has a different set of challenge to solve for an enterprise which has invested over a period of time in the right technologies right infrastructure so how do you maximize return and pivot from there there are companies who have not invested on technology for a long time and have large monolith systems on which they are running their ecosystems on so for them how do you pivot from where you are to do buy versus build or even build versus compose so any thoughts there suresh on that no, I, and i think one thing that's implicit in what you were just saying is i think platformization is not just a technology journey i mean we've seen this many times you know like it's when you talk to clients when I mean, even when you talk to the it folks they often come back and say can you help me explain this to my business it's not about adding this new technology it's changing the way that we do business it is coming up with going back to the fail fast right it's coming up with new products launching them in the market and being okay if it fails right we used to put tons of capital investment into developing new products and i think to the point that you're raising it's getting to market fast trying out something if you get to market fast it automatically implies that there's less capital investment and you can bail right you can, if you, if that business line is not working dump it if you find the customers want to tune it slightly be able to tune it very quickly so the monoliths sort of keep you back hold you back from doing that but i think to your point right if if you can help the business understand what's possible with the technology and you take them with you you can sort of get past most of the challenges This conversation on platformization continues in part 2 of this podcast episode. Listen to the second and concluding episode of this podcast to learn about how emphasis drives platformization for its clients.